dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yep, what's good, original crew? It's your boy DJ New Kid, your girl. Sierra Nicole. We're back on the channel with another. Kid and C original. I don't know why they keep coming out like that. <laughs> Y'all get on her. Don't be get on her, <laughs> bro. She's coming out. Get on her, man. Hey, but we got a good one for y'all today, man. We got another TikTok video for y'all. We got wildest thing that you have ever witnessed at a funeral. You got Please some... don't ask me, baby. You ain't because... got none? Oh. <laughs> go see it. Go see it. Honey, no, because I'm too long-winded. So let's just go see Go see it, these... mm -mm. Just get to the point. You can't get... No, you nah. know, I can't just get to the point, honey. The, the wildest thing one I've seen was that video we saw not too long ago when that woman was uh, well, talking about the money. Well, I'm talking about, like, personally. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that, that was oh. the... That video, then them, them, uh. Well, I'm talking about personally. The game banging at the funerals and all. Mm. This would be a whole lot, a whole lot. You just be like, bro, this is too ghetto for me. But with that being said, before we get into it, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go. If you want to further support the channel, just check down below. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did have written something. But crazy. also salute to the comment of the day. You so see it. <laughs> we holler, holler, appreciate our comments over here, man. So salute to you, man. But with that being said, oh, the one I see, I have seen people get to arguing at a funeral before, get, get ready to fight. Mm. And they be mad because one person boohooing, sit your mother. I swear, I swear. <laughs> but with that being said, I don't even like going to funerals. But with that being said, before it's, it's it's wildest things that you have ever witnessed at a funeral. Let us know what wild child has seen at a funeral. <laughs> that you have ever witnessed at a funeral. Listen, I'm a firm believer that you should not bring children to funerals. Because while most adults are mourning and crying and emotional, kids honestly just don't give a fuck. When I was 12, my aunt passed away. God rest her soul. She was a good woman. But her husband, not so much. Like, he used to cheat on her. He used to, like, supposedly beat her. Like, my family just hated this motherfucker. And I knew at some point they was going to beat his ass. I just didn't think it was going to be the day of the funeral. You know what I'm saying? Now, some adult at the funeral had the bright idea of leaving me in charge of watching all the children at the funeral. And I don't know who gave them that idea. One of the kids that I was supposed to be watching went into the wrong room and seen my aunt husband kissing another woman. The Ooh. aunt that was in the casket. That kid told somebody and everybody started beating his ass. And I mean everybody. The pastor, adults, kids. You motherfucker. <laughs> when he said the pastor. And the pastor got a past life too. He but you know what though? No, most of the times, a lot of times at the funeral, people will get their family members to preach over the funeral. Yes. Instead of getting a real, you know what I'm saying, the family pastor would be somebody, the, the, the most religious person in the family. Yeah, this. well, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Especially if you have to do it at a funeral home. It'd be like, we just gonna get cousin Bulky to come. Well, I got a cousin. funny. I have a cousin. Me. What is the wildest thing that you have ever witnessed? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, girl. The wildest thing I witnessed at a funeral? I was a teenager to a funeral for a six-year-old and her mother. Me and my friend was up front viewing both bodies. When I got close to the little girl, she took a breath, a real full breath, like <sighs> no longer concentrate. I'm like, is she breathing? Can I see the dead? What's going on? I can't figure this out. My friend, did you see that? She like, see what? She crying like, just calm down. I'm like, no, did you see that? Like, no, I didn't see anything. I started asking everybody around me. I can't even concentrate at, you know, at this point. I walked around, asked everybody. I finally found someone else that's seen what I seen. Now, you know I have to ask the funeral director. Yes, it's possible after embalming, there's extra air in the body. Or something like that. What is the... I or do... Did, or did they double... 
I do know that, you know, like with the air, like I know all about that and stuff. But like a lot of times, but some if she said, if she be, said, I know it'll come out, but not no, not like the way she. Nah. I mean, she could be like exaggerated. We don't know exactly, but still. Wildest thing that you have ever witnessed. So if you've been to a black funeral, you know sometimes certain people will call you to come up to the pedestal to speak on the behalf, even though you don't want to. So with that little background, let's start the story. So they call me up there, right? And I walk up there and I'm like, I'm finna liven up the mood because you know, funerals are just naturally sad, duh. So I go over, I look at the body, rub the shoulder, and then I turn back with the microphone in my head and I say, ain't God good. And when I tell you, nobody fucking laughed. It was like. <laughs> you can go to the motherfucking mirror and say, hey, God good. What the fuck you mean, God good? You happy because they did? No, I'm not. Because I'm, we it's alive. It's like one of those situations where you don't know what to say. And sometimes. No, it's supposed to be like an attention break. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you don't know what to say. So you say like the wildest things and you just like, they didn't go as planned. <laughs> Witnessed at a funeral. I'll go first. No, ma'am. I think I'll go first. <laughs> So I went to my sister's best friend's funeral with her. Mm, we were invited. Really Family was cool, common collective. We went to the wake the day before. Get to the funeral. Service is beautiful. They're about to end everything. Everything's about to be done and over with. My sister says that she has to go to the bathroom. In the process of her going to the bathroom, another girl had got up and followed my sister down the stairs and all we hear is this tumbling. Needless to say, the girl was trying to fight my sister because she felt like she had something to do with the girl's death. Mm. In the process of that happening, I come behind the girl who pushes my sister I hit her. After I hit her, the church was right behind me. Everybody in the church, pastor included, acting like they want war. So I ripped my dress, tied it up in a knot, and I fought anybody who was standing in my way in order for me to get to my sister. By the time we got done with that service, I have fought over 12 people. Mm. I I think you threw the headphones out. Who? Yeah. Can you hear? No, I can't. I feel like my mother sent me this because she, one, misses my content, but two, she wants me to talk about the two separate times that this happened at her parents' funerals. Like... Why is it when funerals come around, people get ratchet? I, <laughs> what? So, everybody on the internet knows how I feel about my grandma. People on YouTube know how I feel. People on TikTok know how I feel. Even personal friends know how I feel. And everybody knows that I adored my grandfather. He was amazing. What people don't know is how their funerals went down, okay? <laughs> After my mother gave me and my Spawn of Satan brother this pep talk Ooh. outside of my grandmother's funeral saying, People from my job, the white folks from my job, very important white folks from my job are going to be here. You two better put your shit aside and not embarrass me. I said, cool, as long as he knows that we're both bastards now because his daddy's dead too. Ah! I was 17, y'all. My ears. Come on. It was my ears. Come on. Did you get that? Mm-hmm. His daddy's dead too. Ah! <laughs> I was 17, y'all. Forgive me. Okay. Mm -hmm. He said some stuff. I said some stuff. We almost got into fist the cuffs. So you know. The funeral goes on. My cousin Lil John had to keep me and my brother from literally physically fighting each other. So at the end, my mom was like, while they're putting my grandma in the hearse. Go make sure nobody touches the flowers. Because at the time, her very nice college that she worked for sent her this big ass spray for her mother. Why was there these women from my grandma's church getting their granddaughters to steal the flowers? Do I had to walk up and be like, excuse me, what are you doing? This saucy ass 15 year old was like, I'm taking these flowers from my grandma because she didn't even like your grandma. Baby girl, if you don't back the fuck, 
I literally snatched the flowers and said, and she was like, oh my God. And I literally said, I will beat you with these roses if you don't get the <laughs> Who steals flowers? Another funeral that my mother so went to, they literally took the spray off the woman and brought it home. At my grandfather's funeral, some woman literally took the flowers, tried to walk past me, and tried to fight me for them in the parking lot. I said, I will lay your ass flat in this dress and let my drawers show. You better let go of these flowers. <laughs> you better let go of these flowers. You better let go of these flowers. I had to act like a whole ass ghetto ratchet for some flowers, y'all. Flowers, y'all. Tulips. Pussy willows. <laughs> carnations. Then my auntie up here trying to take multiple flowers out of his little casket spray when they about to put him in the ground. Drop your leaves alone. Let him be buried with him. Jesus. What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? I'll if you have like six months to spare and you email Ikea oh. and be like, hey, I think I'm missing a piece of this table set. Slowly, one by one, piece by piece, <laughs> month by month, you get that table for free. Tell me the most unfortunate name you've ever run across. I have been waiting for this one. So my last name is his cock. Like his cock. Like that's my government name. Oh. Um and I thought that that was interesting until I realized my aunt's name is Sharon. So for a while until she got married, she oh, was um, legal Sharon. Sharon. Is coming. <laughs> <laughs> she is oh, Sharon! Oh, Sharon! Let me give it to her. I am done. It had to be an inside joke. Oh, it had to, done. man. Y'all spell those up in the comment section down below. Let us know what else y'all want to see us react to. And next. I really would like to know, like, the wildest things y'all have witnessed at but a what she, what she saying? Her, her brother, dad, was her granddad? Cause yeah. she, she said, because your, your dad dead too. Because her mama at the uh, oh, grandfather's funeral. Shut up and come on. I need I, some clarification, yeah, bro. Yeah, I heard that, but I didn't hear it. Is that what she... I swear I need some clarification on that one. I need some clarification. I don't know. I don't know, Y'all just let us know in the comment section down below. Y'all thoughts and opinions about those in the comment section down below. I don't know where we're going with this, but it went. <laughs> but with that being said... I have to go with the name DJ Nikki. This is we are we are y'all. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack to flip for my foes. Dollar 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my.